Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to more Mass Effect 2. Last time was one of the intro missions. I just say one of the intro missions. Fuck joke. Because I don't know how many parts that one's gonna be. It might be two. Might be one. Who knows? I'm just gonna access shit, you know what I mean? Talk to some of the crew. That's what I was. Okay, I think that's one of the missions we already have. Same with that. <sighs> I'm really sorry. My nephew is being extremely loud right now downstairs. And I literally had to turn my mic volume down so that it's not as loud. Because where I had my mic earlier, you could hear damn near everything. So, hopefully... Um, hopefully you can hear it as much right now. Alright, let's talk with you. What, what do you do? I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I think I actually romanced her, now I'm thinking assistant. about it. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I think, like... And when I first played this game, I was trying really hard to romance Miranda, but it never happened, so I, like, settled for this I'm check. glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, sure. Kelly. My name's Kelly, too. It's all good. Anything else? Shut up. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity. But that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. That's a very positive attitude. Yeah. What can I say? I'm a people person. We need a backup Anything just in like case, uh, in case nobody else <laughs> will go for Shepard. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Bro, my nephew, I swear to God, I don't know if you can hear that, but man's is like playing with blocks or some shit. Do be loud for like no reason, fam. Like, don't worry. We'll defeat the collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Oh, Anything well, else you'd like uh, to talk about? I'm not trying to be too okay. too dead on. Maybe we'll talk later. Okay, yeah. So we do have updates. Joker wants to talk to us. I kind of want to go talk to like other people first. Uh, I guess we can talk to Joker. I don't think that's a big deal.
Man, the, just like the graphics jump from the first to this one is just insane. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Enjoy it, Joker. If we're stuck here, we might as well let them pamper us. Uh, does it breach uniform regs if I get that on a cruise shirt? Because this is my favorite, you have no choice, choice ever. Technically, this is a civilian ship. I'm probably lucky you're still wearing pants. Yeah, I'll save that for the off hour cameras. Have an AI watch me 24 7. Insurance. <laughs> Commander. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. As for the crew, you'd have to ask him. Is that something we have to do? What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Uh, the good old days, Ever think man. about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. Mm, how are things? I assume everything is going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing Mr. off? Moreau. I don't need it in my day to day. If you don't want to hear it, turn the damn sound off. Well, it doesn't change anything. It's still watching. Like some creepy kid staring at the back of your head in comp side. You just want Joker, to you look punch like a creepy him, but kid. he's special and he sets fires or something. Okay, a little too far there, but you know what I mean. Your problem, not mine. Thanks, I'll remember this. That's it for now. See you, Commander. See you, fam. Alright, let's see who else we can go talk to. I believe Jacob's in here. Shepard got like a little bit of a cranky neck right now. What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using OmniTool, computer-aided design, and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. Oh? What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Yeah, I'm I glad. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Glad to have you. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Glad to have you. Will I probably ditch you as soon as we get our first other companion? Probably. Commander, can I help you with something? Yeah. How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? 
Probably the same as everyone else. I just want to figure out what the real threat actually is. Got no problem with risk. I just need a clear goal. Anything else, Commander? What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? I understand you made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Miranda and I stopped a Batarian plan to release a biological agent on the Citadel. That's when I first met her. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Save the Citadel like you, but what's the same? A good deeds like pissing yourself in dark pants? Warm feeling, but no one notices. The whole thing was hushed, like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. All right, we'll all talk right. later. Commander. I definitely did try to romance him as a female ship. The briefing room. Oh, uh, it was kind of like the, the one from the first game, I guess. All right. What's this area of the ship? This is the combat information center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. While normally is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. I don't remember there being ship combat in this game. Let's go to my cabin. Okay, this is where we can like check all the same shit. Nice little cabin, we can do music, I'm not gonna do that. Change the casual appearance. Like I said, I'm pretty sure all of these casual appearances were in the main game except for these last two. I definitely don't remember, like don't remember the sweater being in the game. The sweater's like hella iconic. Definitely don't remember that though. Cruise quarters. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Ooh. she's a cutie. How old? Ah, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Wow, well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. The way she sounded. Oh, you gave me his first birthday. Like, 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 fuck you. Yeah, that's so funny. Oh my god, the details. They really did not need to add bathrooms in this game. I didn't even notice the first game didn't have bathrooms. Alright, let's go see Miranda. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well. And the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So? What would you like to know? Okay, yeah, sure. I know what we're doing here, but what's Cerberus's long-term goal? The advancement he does of the look a bit race. off, I'm not gonna nothing lie. Nothing more, nothing less. My the character Solarians does look a bit off. Group. The Asari have their legendary commandos for stealth and recon operations. Cerberus is humanity's answer to those organizations. But those organizations are regulated by governments. Who keeps Cerberus in check? Nobody. We're privately funded, and our backers trust the elusive man to make the right decisions. But he's very clear about our goals. Protect humanity and serve its advancement. Are you military or political? Or both? Cerberus has several divisions. Political, military, scientific. But we're all working towards the same goal. The teams you encountered before your... accident were mostly part of our military division. But not all Cerberus operations use the same protocols. We try not to get bogged down in bureaucracy or formality. What kind of resources does Cerberus have? We're very well funded, though I doubt anyone His eyes, it's just my character's eyes exactly that bother well. me right now. But, our resources but there, aren't to unlimited. be fair, Reviving were no good eye choices the in the creator. And a significant risk. 
We're all hoping you can do the impossible, Shepard. No pressure. Like, look at his eyes. But to be fair, there were no good eye options. What can you tell me about the elusive man? Not much that you don't already know. Even I don't have access to most of his background. And you've seen more of him than most ever do. It's rare for him to become directly involved in missions, but you're something special. Whatever else people might say about him, I can assure you he's got humanity's best interests at heart. That includes you and me. How can you be sure of that if you know so little about him? I didn't get to where I am without knowing how to gauge people's motives and ambitions. Even from brief encounters. He's no saint, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he is committed. Humanity couldn't have a better advocate. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Let's stop it quick because I could hear my nephew's TV show from here. And I want to make sure that you guys could not. So I had to check my mic shit. <sighs> Anyways. Sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Uh, maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks. They're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Alrighty. Is talk Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical. I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands. Most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel. And I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. <laughs> butt It'll puckers, take good bro. old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough. But losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. I'm sorry if it seems like it's just, just cutting a lot. I'm genuinely just trying to make sure like the quality is as good as it can be. You have everything you need. I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. How can I help, man? What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients, 
Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? No. I won't take any more. Good for of now. That. Back to work. Got other people to talk to. Chalk was. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet. Here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that, that your was dealings cute. with Cerberus will be ethical. Yo, fuck everything, man. I'm trying to roll Dr. Chocolate. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make Wait, sure so the crew gets the same opportunity. She was there with the Skillian Blitz with us? Because isn't that the thing that we were a part of? Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. I'll get her that bottle. I got you, Chocolate. Alright, I think... That's a majority of the crew we can talk to. We can check engineering. I don't think that there is anyone down here yet. I think the... I think there is some crew that end up being down here, but I don't know if there's like... A specific... You came all the way well, down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid what? on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. I love how her accent slips in and out. <laughs> how did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state of the art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? 
Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The... Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Okay, I'll keep an eye on. I'll keep an eye on. Will do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard Imagine. came down to see us. I told you he would. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. What's this area of the ship? This is main engineering, which contains the ship's main fusion plant and Mass Effect core. And I completely just fucking... Alright, I think that's everyone that we've talked to for now. We can go down here, but I'm pretty sure there's not literally anything down here. Pretty sure this is where Jack ends up hanging out. <laughs> Combat deck. I guess we can go get the Solarian. That's kind of. Commander, the first. you've received a new message at your private terminal. Bruh. There's no new messages. Shorty, what you what you trying to do here? The map's also so much better. You can like actually zoom around. Professor. Omega, shit, that's like... Okay, there's a lot of missions there. I guess that's kind of... Makes sense to be the first place we'd go. See what I mean when I say this game just has more flair? Oh, what the fuck? Wait, why does she have an alternate appearance? Alright, so... As you can see... There's a lot of fucking characters here. Like, if you think about how many we were able to get in the first game and then think about this one, like, it's crazy. Yeah, from the squad. But I'm gonna use this shit out of charge. Okay. Welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to... Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just... Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? 
Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Aria wants to know what brings a dead Spectre to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Aria for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. This map is kind of messy, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Said! What's up, my guy? Please. You have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. I hear we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive rates even. Please, I didn't do it. I said, <laughs> shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. You should have known better. These people always want to Omega. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. Yeah. I'll make sure we get that, that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. <laughs> I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Sick, okay. So I mean environments probably just bigger and better this time around. Alright, I genuinely don't know where we should go first if I should just focus on the main missions right now if I should like run around and talk to people Omega what a piss hole at least it keeps you on your toes I've had to come here on business before I feel like I need a shower afterward in addition to normal decontamination all right just a casual walk around Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... fine. You're off the hook. For now. See you around. I don't know, like, if I want to play Paragon or if I want to play Renegade. I genuinely don't. I should probably search up. 
what the romance options require. Feeds around to the lower afterlife. Not bad. I suppose we'll go talk to this chick first. Oh yeah, gee, her what's her face? Okay. Chalk wands. Rob been dead for two years, bro. We deserve a drink. I say. You're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> you need more everyone needs more something and they all come to me I'm the boss CEO Queen if you're feeling dramatic it doesn't matter Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule don't fuck with Arya I like it Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. So, what can I do for you? I'm looking for Morton Solis. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morton. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? Used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half an Omega. You want him dead, too? I'm putting a team together. He's on my list. Interesting. You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. Yeah. Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. Do you hate Archangel? I don't have time for hate, but I distrust them all equally. For now, I'm happy just to let them kill each other. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic. 
but he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. So, you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the Mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. One scan and we're straight to business? People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer, mind your own damn business. Maybe I'll come back later. Maybe I'll be here. <laughs>